Hello, we are in the girls' bedroom and we're gonna do a reset and refresh. Uh, there's a few things we need to do. We need to try laundry stripping on Maggie's bedding. Uh, we need to declutter Maggie's clothing, add um, some more organization in there so it's a little more functional. Where's that spot? Oh yeah, there's the spot on the floor we're gonna try and get out. And I have a couple surprises for the girls as well. Maggie, what do you say we get your bedding soaking into the laundry stripping and then you and I take a quick pass through your clothing and we'll talk about looking for gold. Doesn't that sound fun? All right, so we like the beddies, but it's really hard to take it off to wash it and clean it. So it does not get washed enough. Oh my goodness, Maggie, we can't show this on YouTube. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I look like the worst mom ever. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have a really dramatic. I can't believe it looks that bad. <laughs> we were going to do it when we did Adeline. I know, we've done Adeline's. All right, we're gonna give this laundry stripping a shot because it has its work cut out for it. And then, okay, don't judge me. All right, let's get it pulled off, Megs. Mom. Yep. This is terrible. <laughs> I agree. So Maggie, should we commit that we're going to wash your bedding a lot more often now? Yes. All right, you got it. <laughs> okay, so I want to get this soaking quick while we work on the rest of the girls' room. I first did this in our bedroom on our sheets, and I've also done Adeline's bedding, and it works well. I would say it gets it like 80% clean, um, way better than if we just washed it in the washing machine, in my opinion. So what you do is it's one part borax, two parts of a powder detergent, and one part of, it's supposed to be washing soda. I forgot to get washing soda, so I'm just using baking soda. I think it would probably work even better if we had washing soda. So you just, um, you know, run hot water, dump in the detergents, and then you're supposed to let it soak for like four to six hours. So we're gonna do that, and then every hour you wanna take a broom handle and just move it around and swish it around. It is crazy how dirty the water <laughs> gets in here. So you know it's working. <laughs> It's, it's so hard to believe it's been almost two years, we two years this fall since we revealed this room and made it over. We made massive changes up here and it feels like a completely different space. And overall, it's been functioning super well. Um, we had shown like the girls bed are made out of our queen Ikea bed that Tom cut in half and like reconstructed. That has worked great. Um, everything about the room has held up really well. And I think what we have just learned over and over and over again and experienced and continue experience with kids is that they really like simplified spaces. Honestly, most of the time the girls keep this room clean totally by themselves because they like having it clean and they end up spending a lot of time in here. And so they really like to have it picked up and it's so easy to do so because they just don't have a lot of stuff in here. And so I would just encourage you to go much further than you think with simplifying your kids' spaces and I think they're going to thrive in them. Maggie's clothes no longer fit in her drawer very easily, right? We haven't really had any organization in these big drawers, so I also got some baskets that we're gonna try and put in here to see if those will work. But Maggie's actually pretty good at decluttering stuff because you know what you like and know what you don't like anymore, right? So um, anything that doesn't fit anymore is uh, easy peasy, that will for sure go. And then from there, um, we're gonna look for gold. Do you know what I mean when I say gold, Maggie? We've talked about it a little bit, but I don't know if you've like. picked up on it. So gold are the things that we love, that we wear all the time, we wanna wear all the time, um, that we just really enjoy having and keeping. And then if there's stuff that even though it fits, it's not like, it's not your favorite anymore, you don't think you're really gonna end up wearing it, we're just gonna let that go now so it's not cluttering up your drawers, okay? Okay, first this a friend gave to me yeah but which like, we love getting hand-me-downs right but like it's super tight on the arms and yeah. it feels like it's suffocating my arms oh we don't want anything suffocating your arms do we okay so, so we'll make our fun. donation pile okay i also got this but i never really wear it it's kind of hard sometimes with pattern leggings right they're not as versatile okay all right, let's see how quickly we can get through this. And this dress. Oh, <gasps> the dress. I love this dress on you. You're done with it? <laughs> I never wear dresses. Uh, I'm not a dress person. And so, of course, that's the other thing I'm learning, right, is that 
if they don't like it, there's no sense in keeping it because it's not gonna make them wear it just because you keep it. I'll keep You'll keep one that one? Dress. Okay, so we've gotten two, so you're gonna keep this one, okay? Yeah, this I, one I, on for, I forgot I had that because I couldn't find I can't find any. You forgot here. you had it because you can't find it. I know, exactly. <laughs> I don't think I really want these pants. <sighs> I know. You pay good money for these pants. I can't remember what you need a pants for, but you don't like how the waist fits on them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Found another sock. Okay, so I can show you this is the empty drawer now Not this is the stuff you're keeping plus this pile of pants this is our donation pile you did an awesome job maggie so let's see about putting this stuff back do you think these baskets could help kind of divide up like the different categories of stuff yeah. that you have so it's not all oh is this one gonna fit Oh, I might just have to do two. I think we should try, have you heard of Marie Kondo folding? Never heard of it. Okay, so you fold it like this and you stand it up. So then it's easier to see, cause you know when they get piled flat, you don't actually see what's in there. So I think we might try that in here. Is that gonna feel like way better when you open your drawer though? Definitely. All right, so I actually just dropped the girls off at play practice. Um, again, they're doing um, Beauty and the Beast Junior and they're loving every minute of it. So I'm really glad they can have that experience. So my hope is to get this room pulled together and put the surprises in that we have for them before they get back home. This stain um, was from some slime that got like ground into the carpet. So I borrowed my sister's a uh, little green machine thing and I have some citrus cleaner. Now this isn't the citrus cleaner that my brother recommends. I don't know what I did with that. Uh, I don't know. I think I, anyways, I'm not gonna throw anyone in the, under the bus, but I don't know what someone else did with it. So I've been wanting to try this. This is just the citrus cleaner from the dollar store. And so I, I love a lot of their cleaning products, but I don't know if it's actually powerful enough for this. So I thought we would just give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, so it's a little lighter, but I think I'm gonna try, we also have this 409 carpet cleaner stuff. I think I'm gonna try spraying some of that on and letting it sit and see if we can get this a little bit better. Isn't there something so gratifying about putting that foam on? It just feels, I don't know, <laughs> like we're gonna make progress. We'll see. All right, while we let that sit for a few minutes, I want to thank Helix for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, it was almost a couple years ago that we redid the girls' bedroom and we put these Helix mattresses in. Now, I often tell the girls, if you had seen the mattresses we grew up sleeping on, you are so spoiled with these like beautiful mattresses. They love them, but I think the real test has been that Tom and I have had our Helix mattress for almost two years now. It'll be two years in August. We still love it. It it has kept its shape. I, we joke about how like we don't roll towards the middle. You can't see an indent where we sleep. We have rotated it um, once or twice. I don't know, you know us. <laughs> like We're not good about like regular maintenance, but we have rotated it once or twice. But even where Tom sleeps, um, he like you don't see an indent or anything. And so we have been so happy with our Helix mattress and they really couldn't make it easier to get a great fit for you because you just go online, you take their sleep quiz and then they match you with your perfect mattress. So for us, they recommended the Dusk Lux and it was a great fit. And then they deliver it to your door all rolled up in a box. So it's very compact and easy to get into the house and shipping is included in the US. And so it comes to your door, you unroll it onto your bed frame and then you just watch the magic happen, right? But it's so easy to set up. 
But here's what we love about it and why we feel so confident recommending it to you is that you get 100 nights to try it out. You get to try it out, test it out, sleep on it a bunch to make sure it's just right for you. And then beyond that, they also will offer a 10 year warranty. And so that also gives you a lot of peace of mind. So we're gonna put a link down below. If you use our link, you can get up to $200 off your Helix mattress and two free pillows. And you know, I joke that like, the kids don't need fancy mattresses, but you, you know, as a parent, you wanna have nice things for your kids too, especially when it comes to the quality of sleep. So we're so grateful that they have very nice mattresses as well. All right, well, this has been sitting for a little bit, so why don't we see if we can get it out? And it does have this like scrub brush thing on the end, so that's what I was trying to kind of scrub at it with. This is not a carpet cleaning tutorial. <laughs> My brother would probably be horrified right now at what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer. I really feel if I had that real citrus cleaner that we would make more progress. So I'm gonna go see if I can track that down real quick and then we're gonna give this one more shot. Okay, I need to retract my previous statement that implied someone was like hiding this from me. It was literally right inside the garage. So this is actually like a professional level um, cleaner, you can get it if you Google like carpet cleaning supply places, but if you get this, it'll last forever. And this is what my brother swears by to do cleaning like this. So I have a spray bottle here. It says to do 10 to one, 10 parts water to one part of the cleaner. I'm probably gonna mix it a little stronger. I have a pretty high confidence level. Oh no, <laughs> this is probably mixed really strong. <laughs> This is like pretty inexpensive carpet too. I mean, we just put it in, we moved in six years ago. And so that's part of why it doesn't come clean as easily either. All right, we'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back to it. So I've really been enjoying doing these reset and refresh videos. We've done our kitchen and bedroom and laundry room because it's a chance to come back and revisit things that work and don't work in the remodeling and updating we've done to our house. So when we originally did this room, we hung uh, this swing chair from the ceiling and the girls loved it and it got used a ton, but um, over time, where's the hole? Oh, it's not in focus. Over time, I think the eye, bolt thing just worked its way out of the stud that it was in and so i think corbin were you sitting in it when it collapsed we knew it, it was looking a little precarious but the chair is like so close to the ground we're like well nothing will bad and too bad will happen so it came out and tom decided he just wasn't super confident in these studs in the ceiling here to put it back up again so we ended up we found a chair at a thrift store and we got that and put it here but the hole needs to be patched. Long story short, the hole needs to be patched in the ceiling. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, another thing that we did in here was these like faux Roman shades that I made. And that has worked out awesome. It's super easy for the girls to put it up and down. It's maybe gotten just a little bit faded, but as far as like using the two tension rods to make that, it has worked great for being like a really, like just a hack, <laughs> right? So that has actually worked and held up really well. So I would totally do that again. And then also we had just put the shelves by the girls' bed to use as nightstands mostly because um, we wanted the drawers underneath to still be able to move, but also because I didn't want them to have huge flat surfaces to get cluttered up and they have worked great as well. So I would, I would do that again too. Okay. Uh, again, everything with that, that is not me doing a tutorial. That is me just making it up. I was like, oh, that's... so this has been sitting for a little bit now. So let's just give it another shot. Something my brother does say though, his criticism of like when you do it yourself at home is that you don't get all the water pulled back up out of the carpet in the pad. Like the commercial or the commercial equipment sucks the water out better. So trying to be as thorough as possible with pulling as much of the water back out um, does help a lot. All right, so eh, not perfect. I really was hopeful that it was gonna come out more. Isn't it wild though? Like how dirty the water gets in here. That is just always blows my mind. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry and it does, I mean, it looks better than before. I was just really hopeful we could get out more, but for today, this is as far as we're gonna go. Okay, so I actually had to look up how to do the like Konmari folding, like the Marie Kondo folding. I, you know, 
I've always dismissed stuff like this in the past because knowing myself, I wouldn't be able to maintain it. But now as we continue to live in our simplified home and the kids are getting a little bit older, I do see the value of it. I really like how you can see everything that you have. Um, I like the intentionality behind it because I, as I was folding the clothes, I was thinking, I'm like, you know, if, if you set out to do this in your own room, in your own closet and clothes, if you came across a shirt that you don't really like that much or it's kind of stained or, you know, I don't know, you didn't, you don't really, you don't really love it. As you're folding it, you would probably be like, why am I doing this? Why would I waste my time and energy doing this? And you just get rid of it, right? And so there's something about it that it kind of creates like a built-in filter. Like if it's not worth my time to fold this nicely and properly or neatly, then I probably don't need it anymore. <laughs> so, and isn't it crazy how we forget about clothes that we have? So we often feel like we have a much smaller wardrobe than we do because we can't see it all. But when you start to line everything up like this, you're like, oh, right, I did. I mean, even as we were going through the drawer, right? Maggie's like, oh, right, I forgot that I had this. <laughs> and so that happens to all of us. So I do think there's something kind of cool about this. I don't know, like long-term, will she keep it up? I don't know, I'll be curious to see and, and I'll let you know, but for right now, it feels really good. All right, now as far as their closet goes, we originally decided just to leave the doors off because it's a really good sized space and we wanted them to be able to use it for more than just a closet. So originally their keyboard actually fit in there, but we've upgraded to a keyboard with weighted keys now. So it's kind of like their music room, but I'll show you uh, a couple changes. I just had Tom hang this basket on the wall um, for their piano books because it had been just sitting on the floor. I also want to put up some um, hooks for their piano bags and then this is so sad. We're gonna pack away the American Girl dolls. Um, neither of the girls play with them any, anymore. Maggie does have her LOL dolls, so I wanna make more room for that and just kinda get this a little bit more organized. And then we have, um, since the last video we did in here, Adeline wanted a hanging rod for her clothes, so we added that. So that's been functioning really well. But I know there's some other stuff that can get decluttered out of here to make this space just really easy to keep, keep picked up and tidied again. And I asked the girls if they wanted me to do it or if they wanted to do it. And they both said, we're going to play practice. You can do it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, great. I have no problem doing that. <laughs> so they gave me free reign. So I'm adding a little bit more organization in here. And I just think it's going to function a whole lot better. And we are going to keep one bin of American Girl doll stuff. We're just not going to keep it in here. All right, uh, let's get this room put back together. So I liked the swing. The swing was super fun. It was just the logistics of it. So if you have a way to hang it really easily in your house, the girls loved it. So the swing wasn't the problem. It was, the, I don't know, our structure. So then we found this chair um, just at a thrift store. And so that's easier <laughs> than trying to hang the swing again. So the chair is here and then it needed an ottoman though. You know, when you're sitting there reading, you need something to put your feet up on. And so then I found um, this gray ottoman thing, poofy thing. Um, so I think that'll make it function a little bit better. And then as far as the Bettys, I have a love-hate relationship with them. When everything's on the bed and they're zipped up, it's beautiful, right? It looks awesome, um, but they're kind of expensive and they don't solve all of our problems. Like the kids still have to make their bed. And like I said, they're a huge pain to wash. So I don't know, if you have some extra funds laying around and you're like, oh, we'll give it a shot, then I don't think you really have anything to lose. But I wouldn't stretch to fit them into the budget. I don't think it solves all your problems. <laughs> um, I also realized as like, I was looking at Maggie's <laughs> crazy dirty, it's very easy to get down on myself and be like, Dawn, this is a beautiful, expensive bedding. Like, how did you let it get so bad? And you were really gonna like try harder when you, know, you did this makeover on the girls' room to like do the laundry more often or whatever. And I just had to like stop myself and be like, it's okay. I'm doing the best I can. And if I'm dropping the ball with, you know, laundry and their linens, it's not the end of the world. I think I'm succeeding at the really important things so I can give myself a little grace. Not to say I don't wanna do a better job moving forward. I think the girls are getting old enough too where they can help participate in that, but I just had to be like, it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed um, that they didn't come more clean. I thought Maggie's would come a little bit more clean with the laundry stripping. So it's good. Like I said, it definitely gets it cleaner than if you just threw it in the washing machine. But again, you zip it up, you don't see it. It's, it's really not the end of the world. So you know the problem with this, right? Um, the part that it's white or that everyone's gonna fight over sitting on it? Both. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty comfortable though, isn't it? It is actually pretty comfortable. I could sit, sit here. Yeah. 
it's it's nice finding kind of like lower profile furniture in here since it's just like low a ceiling small space yeah not a big room so that's what kind of yeah. drew me to it and we want to encourage the girls being in here as much as possible right <laughs> and not fighting over one chair to sit in yeah well <laughs> there's one chair over there but I, I think they're gonna always lean towards this one so I should have just gotten two of that one so they don't fight over it. <laughs> well, this is, what would you call it, character building? It's character building, building opportunities, yeah, so that's correct. <laughs> for mom and dad. Yeah, it's for all of us. <laughs> oh, uh, another thing I want to circle back to on, we had done the magic lights, that kind of like light hack where we used Gorilla Glue to attach puck lights to these sconces to make like a fake wall sconce. It has a little remote it still works really great. So that's been, you know, like I said, almost two years that those have been working. Um, so that was a great hack as well so that you don't have to wire in wall sconces. But overall, I've always loved this room and I still love it a lot. It has been functioning so well for the girls and it was fun to see their reaction when uh, when we brought them in. It, these weren't huge changes, obviously, right? Um, but I, I do feel like this chair is gonna get fought over <laughs> a lot, but I feel like the room is gonna function even better for them now and they both have places to sit. And so it, I just, I'm really happy with this room. Again, our house is small, but I feel like we've been able to use the space really well. I also, uh, I showed Adeline Maggie's drawer and how great that looks now and I said, do you want to do your drawer or do you want me to help you? And she's like, no, mom. <laughs> so she tackled her drawer on her own as well. And she agreed too that it is really nice to be able to see all of your clothing because we forget about things. And she said that too, like I forgot about things that I had. So I don't know, I might have to come around to the style of folding because it does look very nice and it really does feel like you're really being intentional with your stuff and caring for it. So, and then the closet, like that was really simple changes. Um, it's hard to pack away the American Girl doll stuff, right? It's hard to pack away stuff from our kids' childhood as they get older. But I love what you moms say that are a little bit further down the path. Like each stage is as fun as the last. So it's kind of sad, but I am excited about what's to come as well. So lots to look forward to. And I'll put some links down below for anything that we added. You know, a lot of it's from Target. I, to be honest, I don't like necessarily recommending stuff from Target or Amazon, or, but it's like, where else do you go that's close by where you can grab stuff quick? And so I try to find stuff on Marketplace or used whenever possible. But I also know in the past when I've tried to like force things to fit and they weren't quite right, they don't stand the test of time, right? And so ugh, I always go back and forth. So just for what it's worth. All right, well, I'd love to know what you're up to this weekend. Are there any rooms in your house that could use a reset or refresh? I'll put the playlist down below. It, I don't know, it's been really fun and gratifying going back through the rooms and making adjustments or whatever needs to be done. So I'll put that playlist down below as well. But I hope you have a great weekend. I love you and I'll see you again soon.